Okay, Dr. Prepper here. Um, gonna do a short video on, I always say short videos, they end up being an hour long, um, on programming the, the, the Woshan KG UV 3D. And I believe the 1D and 2D are pretty much the same. So if you have one of those, I think it's the same. But not positive, so don't quote me on it. But this is definitely 3D. And what I'm going to do in this first part of the video, I'm going to try to make sections of this of this little project here. Um, but what I want to do on the first video here is program a repeater, because that's pretty much what you're going to do on the, with these uh, little handy talkies is talk through repeaters. Uh, when you're going with just five watts, you pretty much need that. So. Um, I'll uh, start with that, and that, that way maybe I'll do another video on uh, some other functions of the radio, so. But let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you always need to do, these these, these uh, Woshans need to be put into certain modes before you can do something. So um, there's memory mode, channel mode, frequency mode, and channel frequency mode, so. But what you want to be in is frequency mode. So first thing we're going to do is get into the frequency mode so we can set this up. And so we'll go into the radio by pressing menu. Function select. And that puts you into the, the menu. And, um, and you can see it comes off real quick. But um, So what we're going to do is go in here. We're going to go to the menu 21. So hit 21. That's going to take you to channel for mode frequency and it's already on there now but I just wanted you to see it I should have taken that off Function select. Um, to change it you hit menu again and that takes you down to change it and then the arrow keys so see I'm hitting the arrow keys Let's see how that changes so you got name mode frequency mode channel mode channel frequency mode so if you want to be in frequency mode okay then you hit menu again and that saves frequency it mode. okay so now we're in frequency mode and we saved it, so now we're going to set, do the settings on the repeater. So we're going to do repeater 147120. That's one of my local repeaters. So I'm going to type in 147120. Okay, so now that's the repeater I want to hit. Okay. So to, to do, the first thing you want to do is set, make sure the offset is at 600. And offset is when you key the mic, it's going to go offset right there, right there. That one is either going to go plus, which is 720, or negative, which would be what, uh, 146, I don't know, 720 or whatever. <laughs> so, but that what that is, what offset is, is uh, you push down when you transmit you're transmitting either 600 Hertz higher or 600 Hertz lower so that way the repeater knows something's coming in so when you when you hit the key and I'll show you when we tran when we put it in there it's gonna transmit on one frequency and it'll always receive on the 147 120 or whatever your frequency is for the for the repeater. So the repeater set up at 147120. When I hit the key, it's either going to go negative or positive 6, uh, 0.600 hertz. And um, that will be what you transmit at. So the repeater doesn't get all, it needs that so it doesn't get confused on what's coming in and what's going out. If you transmit it on the same frequency as it sent out, it wouldn't work. So that's just the way they are. So anyway, so that's what we're going to do first here. Okay, so we're going to go in and we're going to change the offset. So we're going to hit the menu key right here. Function select. And then we're going to dial in the, the offset, which is menu 23. And there it is, offset at 000. So let's go back out real quick. If I hit the, if I plunge down on this, it isn't going to change anything. See, it still says 120. Okay, so Function once select. I change, let's hit menu again, go down to the select. thing. You can dial up. We're going to dial to 6, okay, just like that. So it should be 0, 0. 0.6. I think all repeaters everywhere are pretty much that way. So. Function, select, frequency, this thing select. goes too fast. Okay, once you get to 600, hit Engine. menu, and that saves it, okay? And then exit over here. Out. 
Okay, so now we got to do the frequency direction. We got, we know the direction is going to be 600, but which way do we want to go? Now that's something you've got to know from your repeater. So you either got to find out from other people or look online for that repeater you want to get into and find out if it's a, a plus or a negative offset. And again, a plus would go to 147.720 or 1 1.6 point, what is it, 520? So in this case, our repeater is a plus, which I think most of them are in this range, this frequency range. We're going to go back into the menu and make it a, the frequency um, direction go to plus. Okay. Go in here. Function select. Okay, we're going to hit menu 24. Type in 24, and that's the SFT direction. Okay, so that's the frequency direction. Function select. And you're gonna hit menu again. Frequency direction. Down so you can change it. And now I go up for plus, up again for negative or off. But we want plus. I'm gonna save it by hitting menu Enter. again, and then exit. Okay, so now we have a plus. See the plus sign right there. Now we have a direction of. Our offset is plus, so when I hit it, it should say 147120, and I'll probably get something back. I don't know, I don't have the tone set yet, but but you can see the numbers change. Watch. Okay, see so it goes 720. Okay, that means I'm transmitting on 147720 frequency and receiving on 147120. Okay, now we need to put the tone in so that the repeater can understand what's going on. Okay. So now we're going to set the tone. And the tone is menu 16. Man, I'm sorry guys, this is really hard to hold this here so you can see it. So I'm going to go back into menu, type 16, that's going to go to TCTC. Okay, that's your tone. Okay. Hit menu again. And in this case it's 103.5. And again, you got to find out from your repeater what the tone is. So we're getting there. There we go. It's 103.5. Hit menu again to save it. Exit. And now I should be able to transmit on this repeater. And you should hear a Morse code tone back once I do it. Let's let that truck go by. Hold on. Okay. What that means is I've hit the repeater, it's sending back a everything checks out okay signal. It's probably it's call sign or something in Morse code. I'm sure that's what it is. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what I'm assuming it is. And I should be able to talk on this repeater now, which I don't really feel like doing right now, but, uh, but that's it. Okay, so that's how you program a repeater. It's pretty simple. Um, if you just follow those directions like I did laid out right there. Um, you shouldn't have any problems so that's it we'll we'll get to the next video on some other things i'll show you and but this is uh one video that somebody asked me to do for him so and i haven't seen him on anywhere on youtube so anyway that's it appreciate you watching dr perver out god bless